This should be a pretty similar day for your uh, Tuesday. We're seeing a very small conditional chance for a storm in the far southeastern counties, but most of us will stay dry. And as we head throughout the week, we will have very small chances for storms in the afternoon pretty much every single day this week, but otherwise should be mostly sunny and quiet. Right now, really not much going on. A few clouds off to the north and to the west. But we are mostly clear in the big country. Really nothing to speak of on the radar. Pretty quiet out there this morning. We're seeing temperatures on the warmer side in the middle 70s. And then as we head throughout the afternoon, those temperatures will rise on up to the low 90s. Then overnight, the temperatures fall down to the low 70s. We are seeing a wind coming from the south as we head throughout the afternoon. The winds will come from the south at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then overnight, the winds will stay at that same speed and direction is still coming from the south. We are just going to risk for general thunderstorm activity for the afternoon and the evening. And we are seeing a mostly sunny afternoon with a very small conditional chance for a storm, mainly in these southeastern counties and most of us will be will stay dry and then overnight should be mostly quiet and clear and then we're seeing for your Tuesday another small chance for a storm or two in the far southeastern counties but then again most of us will be mostly sunny and then we're seeing on a Thursday uh, maybe a light rain shower in the eastern counties but most of us should be sunny for your Independence Day and then as we head towards the weekend we're seeing chances for some rain off in the northwestern counties but most of the activity will stay to our north and we will remain dry through the weekend. So it should be a pretty dry week, not really any big rain chances for us here. We are seeing high temperatures rising up to the low 90s under mostly sunny skies. Then overnight, those temperatures falling down to the low 70s. For Brownwood, there is a very small conditional chance for, a, for an isolated rain shower or a storm in the afternoon. Then overnight, it should be partly clear as those temperatures fall down to the low 70s. And here it is, the rest of the seven-day forecast. We're seeing temperatures starting out around average, then slowly rising up to above average by the end of the week. And we got a few chances for some afternoon storms, but most of us will stay dry this week. And then by the end of the, or to the start of next week, temperatures will look to be pretty hot in the upper 90s. Ron, back to you.